27. And today is a pretty average day, but I just wanted to show you guys what a normal self-improvement day in life is for um, me. I don't really have too much stuff going on. I just have to like to meditate, journal in the morning, go to school, go to the gym or either work out and just do normal stuff like that. You guys have already seen a little bit of my morning routine, but I haven't done it all. So let's just get into that and uh, let's finish up the morning routine. So I just finished meditating and reading and my morning routine is pretty much done. I didn't really have time to journal right now because I still got to head to school and get on my bus. So the next thing I'm gonna do, go do is have a shower and just get ready for school. So I just got home and I, let me check what time it is. Yeah, so it's around five o'clock. It took a lot longer than I actually expected. I expected to be home by like four o'clock, 4.30, like 4.15, but it was a little bit longer than expected. Not really what I planned, but you just have to keep moving forward. So the next thing I'm actually gonna start to do is start to study for my physics test, which is tomorrow. And it's actually kind of hard. So I'm gonna have to study a lot for it. It's gonna probably take a couple hours of studying until I understand most of it. Then after that, I'm gonna make sure I journal read some books, and then just do some work on my computer. But yeah, I forgot to mention in my morning routine, I didn't. I, I don't typically go on my phone when I first wake up. I typically wait like a couple hours after. I probably would have stayed off my phone for a couple of hours if I didn't actually have to go to school, but I had to go to school today, so I technically did have to go on my phone. But I, yeah, I think that's a really important thing to add to your morning routine. Another thing I didn't really get to do since I was filming today was I didn't get to read a lot of my book today, but I do like to like read a little bit in the morning and then also, as I showed before, meditate and do other stuff like that. I didn't get to do that because I didn't really plan for how long it would take to actually set up the shots and stuff. But yeah, I'm just trying to show you guys a typical day in the life when you're on your self-improvement journey. But yeah, so the next thing I'm gonna do for couple for the next probably like hour or hour and a half two hours is i'm just going to be studying for my physics test okay so i just did about an hour's worth of studying and i actually am feeling pretty confident for this test obviously i still got to go for some practice problems and stuff like that but i think i should be fine for this test so the next thing i'm going to go do is actually eat um dinner and then once I get back to my room, I'm probably gonna either take another break or just start studying again for like another hour. Okay, so I just finished warming up my food and we got the lasagna there that I kind of like moved around so it would warm up faster. And then my calculator just came in the from Amazon. Uh, it's this one. And it has a fraction button too, which is good for me because I hate fractions. I'm just kidding, they're pretty easy. But then I also just have this um, sparkling water. All right, so now it's around seven o'clock. I know I forgot to film like after I ate dinner and what I was gonna do, but yeah, it's actually 7 p.m. right now. I just studied for another, I think like hour because it, it was like, I think six o'clock when I ate. I just finished studying. I went over some problems and I pretty much understand it now. Probably gonna study a little bit more tonight, but I'm definitely gonna take a break from studying and work on something else. So right now what I'm gonna do is actually, um, I'm gonna read one of these books. I'm not sure which one. I've already started the Rich Dad Poor Dad one. I'm like about halfway through. And then I also have this um, this book by Del Carnage, I think that's how you say it. It's how to win friends and influence people. So, and then it says the only book you need to lead you to success, which is also a good book I've heard. So I think I'm gonna start this one cause I just got it. And then uh, once I'm done reading, I'll pick back up the camera and uh, yeah. So I managed to get through like 30 
30 pages of this, um, how to win friends and influence people, as you guys saw me reading before. Um, and then I also managed to take a nap in that time because I was feeling really tired and I still had quite a bit of stuff to do and I wanted to maintain productiveness. So I just took a quick nap, it was like 20 minutes. I got a lot of energy back. And I finished like reading a little bit of that pages and then I was highlighting stuff. As you guys can see, I just highlighted like important parts in the book. That way when I'm going back through this at some point, I might like, I might want to skim over that and then see that. And then it just helps me to make sure that I memorize those important points in the books. So if you guys are reading and you guys aren't doing that, I definitely recommend you guys um, highlight or underline or just star or just somehow um, mark out points in your book where it says important stuff that you want to remember like for the future. Now what I think I'm going to do is I go, I do need to hit a workout because you know self-improvement you do need to get at least like a little bit of exercise in your day. So I think I'm going to do arms today because I haven't done arms in a couple of days probably since like I think it was either last Thursday or Saturday or something. So it's been a while. My arms had time to um to recover from the workout so I think it's time once I'm done my workout I'm gonna come up I'm gonna journal so I literally just got this journal yesterday um, and I've been watching YouTube videos on it and stuff so I'm gonna watch more YouTube videos on it and just like start it and then kind of just work on it because I don't there's a, there's a lot of ways you can journal and I'm not really sure like what you're supposed to do so that's definitely something I do want to learn about. So when I come back up from my workout, I'm going to go through my journal, do that, and then I'm probably going to want to study for a little bit more, just review, make sure I know stuff for tomorrow, and then do my morning routine and go to sleep. Okay, I just finished my workout and my arms are literally pumped up and like dead. They're like almost numb, they hurt so bad. I did biceps, triceps, shoulders, and then a little bit of forearms and pretty much my entire arm. Just fudging hurt so bad, but um, yeah. I'm gonna go pop a protein shake and then um, I'm gonna go back to my room, review my notes for a little bit, and then probably do my start my nighttime routine. So I just came up with the most genius thing I've ever done. And I wrote down all the formulas that I need for my test tomorrow all on the sheet right here and then i'm just gonna put it inside my calculator like this and then put the top on it and then when i'm writing the test i'm just gonna kind of look just in case i get stuck because i don't want to be stuck on that question where i don't remember the equation because there's like look at an entire page full of just equations so it's gonna be hard but yeah i have this i have my protein shake it's like 9 10 right now so what i'm gonna start doing it's starting to like start the journal and just learn how to actually use it. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for like the next 30, maybe 30 minutes. And then if I do finish journaling, I might start to um, read a little bit more of this book. But um, yeah, I highly, just, I highly suggest you guys start meditating, reading, journaling. I feel like it really does help. But um, yeah, let's get right into it. So as you guys saw, I just spent the last little bit just learning about how to journal and doing all that stuff. And then I actually did end up journaling. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the day. The only thing I'm gonna do now is meditate and then get like ready for bed, like brush my teeth, wash my face, like get water and do all that stuff. But that's pretty much what a day in my life working on myself and self-improvement looks like. If you guys have any questions or you guys have any tips for me, make sure to leave them down in the comments. And also, if you like this video and you made it all the way to the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Please and thank you. It would help me so much. But that being said, as always, stay awesome and do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Have a good day.